Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode. It's beautiful outside, so I thought I'd bring you our gig review out here. Stay tuned. So guys, forgive me, I've got hay fever. I love being outside, but it doesn't love me. So any, my eyes will already see anything crazy. Don't worry, I'm fine. So this week has been pretty interesting. So I've done a lot of um, studio work and gigging and stuff like that. I did a really amazing gig at um, the Murta Music Foundation with some really talented kids who were playing Motown and that era of music for the first time. So it was a really busy week, but I did arrange to meet my friend Natalie who asked me, do you want to go to a gig? I've got some tickets. Do you want to come? So I thought it would be the perfect gig to review because I was going in cold. So when I found out who it was, I was like, yay! I don't really know much about him. His name's Zach Abel. Now, funny enough, I know his music but I don't know him so well. I, I knew the songs that he sang, but I didn't know actually the artist's name. So it was very interesting. When I got there, I kind of knew some of the songs. Um, and secondly, it's always funny when I go to gigs in London because I always know someone and it's like a blessing in one way. And in some regards, it's, it's not a curse, but it's, it's interesting because I now focus on them. So I happen to know most of the band. Um, I know Jay, who was a keyboard player. Jermaine who was playing drums and Paul who plays guitar and funny enough I know the whole band um, didn't know any of the techs or any of the BVs but it was nice to see some of my friends on stage and I kind of went with no expectation I was just mainly there to hang out with my friend Natalie um, so when I heard the music I was like mm, this is interesting I never thought that Zach Abel did this kind of music Um, and it's actually really good pop, but it's really soulful and quite muso-ish. And by that term, I mean, you can clearly hear that whoever produced it, I think he actually wrote the songs and is involved in the production as well, because he plays guitar, he plays piano, I'm sure he plays a whole host of other instruments as well. But you can hear that the thought in terms of the musicality has gone into the music, although it's pop. So it's not gonna go over somebody's head, but at the same time, for people who listen to the production, they are gonna get their kind of feel too. So I was really impressed with the fact that the balance between muso and pop and kind of commercial appeal was really quite accurate actually <laughs> he was a great performer in terms of his vocal was flawless i don't think i heard him hit one bum note it was like man this is like performance goals <laughs> one thing i will say is that i could definitely tell that he was a songwriter for me having known both sides of the process so being on stage and also being in the studio and creating you can tell people who really who really kind of invest in the music and whilst he was performing really fantastically I, like his performance was great I could also tell that he was kind of in his head and that's not a, an insult that was it's more an observation so the outside looking in could never tell like he did absolutely great with the audience he performed his songs really great um, he brought some guests on stage to come and sing with him so it was like very interactive very kind of aware of his around surroundings and obviously being in Shepherd's Bush Empire which is an amazing venue I've played there quite a few times and I've also been an audience member quite a few times um, he really worked the whole room and actually I was really impressed with that he's only 23 I did a bit of research after I left He's only 23, so like I'm like, he has got an amazing future ahead of him. One of my favourite songs is a collaboration that he did with a guy called Tom Mish. Now, Tom obviously wasn't there, but it was great to see him do that song. And my friend Paul did the guitar solo, which is in the actual track, and he absolutely killed it. Like, I was so impressed with how Paul interpreted the song and actually played it. So I'm like, I'm gonna leave a couple clips so that you can see it for yourself. But all in all, for a gig that I wasn't prepared to go to in terms of mentally, and a gig that I saw my friends for, it was like the perfect, perfect evening. And that, and the week obviously was quite busy, so it was a nice way to unwind, catch up with my friend, and actually learn about somebody had, I had not really much experience with. So it's great to see like music where you know the vaguely know the stuff but then when you see it performed live you get a real feel for the artist and what they're about and you know what their music is about and what they're like 
lyrically the songs were strong and I always like a good song lyrics are really important for me you know there's a lot of songs that don't really say much or repeat the line 10 million times and actually his songs were really like thought through and I appreciated that so Zach if you're watching which I don't know if you are great job um, it was a great final show to the end of your tour and it's always a great you know a finale to do it in London so good job guys if you want some more reviews or to find out more about what's happening in the music business from my perspective hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos we post we post every single week we're also on social media that guys there's so much going on so get at us on Facebook Instagram snapchat Google plus Twitter we're always posting stuff all there remains for me to say is guys keep up to date with great music and you'll find it here first in the meantime bye